Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dirty Max LML. Uh, this is my 2016 Chevy 3500 BDS 6.5 inch lift on 35 inch tire. Well, as you guys know, this thing did go to the body shop. Uh, this thing's filthy right now. We went camping right after I got it back, but I can't tell you how happy I am to get this thing back. Um, uh, if you guys watched my other video, you guys saw that it, my loaner vehicle was an F250. Um, it was a 2018 uh, 6.7 liter uh, F250. And uh, I towed with that thing. I towed the boat down to Bakersfield. And uh, that thing did pretty good. Um, the transmission felt pretty darn good. Uh, gas mileage was okay. But I got to tell you, as soon as I sat back in this truck, wow, I missed my baby. And this thing just rides so much smoother than that Ford did. Um, <clears throat> that was one of the things that kind of shocked me was the, uh, the front end of that Ford truck bounces around quite a bit. Uh, once I jumped back into here, I realized how smooth um, the front end really feels. Um, I missed it. But um, as you can tell, um, the dent is gone. I had a dent in this thing, went to breakfast, somebody hit the rear, but um, I got the front done as well. Uh, it's full of bugs right now, it's completely dirty. But um, uh, with the back, I'm gonna show you guys anyways, but completely filthy and dirty, but the dent is completely gone. Uh, the dent was right here, um, and this is actually part of the, the natural look. It kinda, <laughs> it kinda looks like a dent, but there was a huge dent right up here in this area here, and uh, they took care of it for me. Um, got rid of that dent. Also had a dent up in the front, which was right here. Dent right here, completely gone. Um, they did a fantastic job. I should have took a video of it when it was clean, but um, you know, had to had to go camping. <laughs> and uh, I'm just glad to have her back, guys. Um, she looks beautiful. Can't wait to get her washed up. I want to get her washed and waxed, um, but since the fresh fresh paint is on there. They told me not to get it waxed for at least nine weeks, make sure that the paint cures. But you know, need to do some regular maintenance on this thing, um, get it cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to give it a, a little bit of a wash job. Need to get my can in air filter cleaned up and this is actually my factory replacement can in air filter. Um, so we're just going to get this thing washed up, get it oiled, put the factory air filter back into the truck so that the k and has time to dry. Um, I am going to be putting on some new things here. Um, that upper control arm, still ha don't know what company I'm going to go with. Um, Cognito seems to be the uh, company that I'm going to go with. I don't know, either that or Kryptonite, we'll see. I'm going to do a little bit more research on both of them. Um, still have my factory tie rod end. What I want to do is switch out that tie rod end with a much thicker tie rod end because it seems like um, Chevy has a little bit of an issue with the tie rod ends and if I want to take this thing out to the dunes um, I don't want any problems. It seems like this area right here seems to be where some of these tie rod ends are breaking right there. So we're going to eliminate that problem, make sure that it doesn't happen to me. and. Uh, preventative maintenance man and uh, these tires are just holding up great I don't get a lot of miles out of these tires these are the BFG AT2s um, <clears throat> seems to be only getting about 25,000 miles out of these tires but they ride so fantastic and they feel so smooth and they hook up pretty much on most anything um, that I'm willing to go ahead and just take the 25,000 miles out of them, you know, and uh, get a, a comfortable ride. You know, as I'm riding on the highway, they feel great. Anytime I do a little bit of off-roading, they feel great. They always hook up. Haven't had any problems with them. They're just smooth feeling tires. Um, <clears throat> kind of over the knobby stuff, mud trains, I'm over it. Um, I just want a smooth, comfortable ride. Um, that's what I've been trying to achieve and that's what we've got right now. So I'm just going to do a little a little bit of uh, prevent, preventative maintenance on this truck and uh, hopefully we won't have any problems.
That's right, baby. Duramax, made in America, Flint, Michigan. Now, one of the parts I wanted to get for my LML is these tie rod ends. Now, the tie rod ends that are on the truck that I have right now are pretty small and pretty dinky. And uh, I have heard uh, through a buddy of mine, um, <clears throat> he's a Ford owner, that uh, he noticed a problem with the tie rod ends breaking in the front end. Well, I went on YouTube, checked it out. Lo and behold, looks like Chevy's got a little bit of a problem. So I want to make sure that I don't get stuck out <clears throat> in the sand or in the mud. So I'm going to upgrade these tie rod ends and I'm about to show you these ones right now. All right, so we're going to open up this box and uh, find out <clears throat> what these things look like. I have not opened this, opened this box up yet, as you can tell. Let's see here. Oh, look at that. It's a box within a box. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my god. These things are heavy. <clears throat> okay. Rare parts. And it looks like a part number RP29092. Uh, I don't know if that's the, uh, looks like, yeah, I guess that is the part number. I guess I'll have to edit that out. But, um, okay, looks like they give you some stickers here. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, look at these things are massive. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, uh, I'll do a comparison, I guess, uh, in another video, but uh, I can tell you right now that the other one, the other tie rod ends are about the size of my pinky. Uh, they're very, very small. This one is gigantic and it's heavy. I don't know how heavy this is. It may be, I don't know, somewhere around 10 pounds, maybe more. I don't know, this is off here. It's like seats right on just like that. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we could just, uh, get us, this is the Zerk fitting right here. We can uh, fill that up with some grease, and uh, that'll then create a suction, this thing won't be popping off after that. But, uh, anyways, I'm excited to put these things on. <clears throat> I'm going to be taking them down to the shop. Got a buddy of mine who's really good at uh, automotive work, and I have him put these on the truck and then get it lined immediately, and I will let you guys know how it uh, turns out. All right, let's take one more peek at these here. Looks like small little zerk fitting. Well, this right here, proudly made in the USA. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest reasons why I purchased this product. Uh, reason why I bought my Chevy made in Detroit. Reason why I bought my BDS lift that I put on the truck. This reason right here, made in the USA, guys. Well, all right guys, there it is. Here is the comparison. This right here is the tie rod end, the original. And as you can see, it's it's really small. And this thing is just massive compared to it. So, um, yeah, this is definitely gonna be an upgrade. Can't wait to get these on. We have a K&N air filter on here, and this is a cleanable air filter. And make sure you don't drop these screws, because I've dropped this screw. 
little guy. Tough to get when he's down in the motor. And uh, I quit using the drill on here because for some reason these little screws seem to strip out really easy. So let's do a screwdriver by hand. filter. That's all the dirt and grime on the back. Plenty of bees and moths. A lot of bees though. Top looks clean, bottom looks dirty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the original one that came with the truck back in for the meantime. Until get this baby cleaned and completely dry. So you do not want to put that thing back in wet and we're going to your mass airflow sensor. Okay, and make sure it moves a little hook in the back. Yep, and I can feel them. When you lift up on the bottom, you'll get separation as well, if it's not put in correctly. One screw at a time, keep my hands on it at all times. Okay, so what am I using? I'm using this air hog, um, even though this is a KN air filter right here. Uh, <clears throat> this KN air filter, as you can see, is completely dirty. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with this um, cleaner, and this is just like a really, really uh, concentrated soap. This stuff is all about the same. Um, this is also some oil, some oil right here. If you got it, use it. Once I run out of this stuff, of course, I'll be getting the uh, can in. But uh, let's get this thing sprayed down. And uh, 
I use quite a bit. Uh, this stuff works really well. I just spray it on there, let it soak in for a little bit. And then um, once it's soaked in really nicely, then I'll spray it down, spray it off. And uh, it's pretty amazing how this thing will actually clean up really, really well. This thing will look brand new by the time we're done with it. Um, but you want to make sure that you clean your air filter all the time, especially these cleanable ones. Do it about once a month. Um, depending on how much you drive, you don't drive that much, you know. But uh, I clean this thing at least about once a month. And because uh, remember, you're, you're doing this to get more air. And, uh, and by not cleaning it, you could actually be getting less air into your motor. It can help you or it can hurt you. Alright, let's let this sit for a little bit. Oh yeah. A lot of dirt's coming out. Looks about good. All right, this thing came out really, really clean. I'm gonna let this dry for about a day. Put it in the sunlight for a little bit, and then once it's dry, I'm gonna put the oil on it, and uh, then we'll put it back in the truck, just like that. All right, let's oil this thing up. <clears throat> we have some air filter oil from Air Hog. I'm gonna put a decent amount on here put a little bit too much, dab it with a paper towel, and you'll be all right. Flip it over. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna let this soak in. You'll be amazed how much oil this thing actually sucks up. And there's different methods of doing this. Some other people have the, uh, a bottle and they just drip it along the edge of each one of these. Um, that kind of takes forever. Um, this seems to work really quickly. Spray it on there and uh, I'm gonna wipe it down with a paper towel the edges. Get it nice and clean, let it soak in for about a day. And uh, once this is soaked in, and I know that there's nothing dripping, uh, we'll go ahead and put it back in the truck. All right, so now that we have the Canon <clears throat> oil to air filter completely clean, we're gonna take out the old filter <clears throat> and uh, replace it with a freshly oiled Canon air filter.
going to definitely make sure you hold on to these screws because I've dropped these a couple times and I'm trying to get these things back out of this engine bay. It's almost impossible if you don't have a telescoping magnet. But uh, definitely something you want to have on hand at all times. A little telescoping magnet. Things, out, things help out tremendously. Back in is nice and connected. And uh, what you want to do is when you're all done, get back here, try to get a good look. There's going to be three little um, slots that go into grooves. You want to make sure that those are connected, otherwise you will have a gap in the opening on the bottom down here. But that's it guys, all clean. Alright, well you guys are not going to believe this um, at all, but um, <laughs> I just showed you how I got this fixed, this dent, and also this dent that I just got fixed. Now I took my truck through the car wash that I last took this through, and lo and behold, <laughs> it was the car wash that gave me the dents the whole entire time. Now I thought when I went to breakfast, somebody hit me and ran, <clears throat> and that seemed to be not the case. The case was that the car wash that I went to, the rollers actually hit, and that's why these rollers, both of these dents, are at the same height. And in fact, what I did was I actually went back to the car wash. I popped out this dent in particular from behind, beat it out, and then went back to the car wash, and the dent reappeared. So that was just, uh, made it 100%. So, uh, looks like the truck is going back to the body shop, and uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of curious now uh, that it is going back to the body shop. Uh, maybe getting another rental car. I don't know. Maybe I'll try something different um, other than a Ford F-250. Um, <clears throat> in a way, I'm kind of relieved that I found out the problem. Um, I already let the <laughs> car wash know uh, what had happened. And uh, I guess I'm going to be hearing from the owner pretty soon. And uh, I guess we'll see how the owner handles the situation. Um, I guess we'll see, guys. To be continued.
What we do here is go back, 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 back.